Right. So this this is this is cash flow. Wave. Woo! Cash flow. Wave. We're supposed to have waved, but we haven't. <laughs> Do it. Just remember, okay. the mic's not pointing at you. Nobody knows what you're saying. And your ego will get inflated when you show this to your friends. Okay. Cool. So do you want? Who wants to talk about what cash flow is? Go on, Reed. Okay, so Cashflow is really simple to use accountancy software that's based in the cloud for small to medium businesses. So why, why is it good that it's based in the cloud? Uh, because you can access it anywhere. Yeah. So um, you don't have to have it on a certain server. You can access it on your iPad, on your phone, on any laptop, on any browser where you have an internet connection, basically. Okay. What sets you guys apart from competitors? Um, because we're simpler and we're made for the uh, the user as opposed to being made for an accountant. So everything is a little bit easier to follow. than. So it's, it's based around like user. It's, it's like designed to be users, designed to be... Yeah. Official. And yeah. you do design that you, you develop the product. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Software, yeah. So, and, and you uh, kind of copywriting, communication, social media, do big the voice of writing. Cash flow, basically. So you're the voice of cash flow. That means <laughs> I've got to do the rest of the interview. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 All I just want to say. Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you guys want to talk about? What, what would you like to talk about? What would you like to talk about? I mean, what are the things that you, you're really proud of? What are the things that you really want to brag about? Permanently. So we just we redeveloped, uh, redesigned the new website recently, and um, someone who was in for an interview had apparently said to Dwayne that in 20 years in the software space, it's the like most engaging and most interesting website he's ever read, just because of the kind of the tone of it and the fact that it's designed to be read rather than just to be there. Which I think a lot of websites are guilty of, like they get across all the information, but only because that's what they're there to do. They don't try and do it in an interesting or kind of engaging way to people that are actually reading it. Is, uh, is that something you is that something you're responsible for? I'm not going to take no credit for that. I mean, that, was all, that was all yeah. marketing to Stu. So um, I build the, the application for the easy users and then Stu and his team build the, the the first bit they come to and then they sign up to the software. So you're doing the back end? Yeah. You're doing the back end. You're doing the front end. In, in terms of words, yeah, kind of. It's in, not, in not terms of like spiel and yeah, not front end, not front end development. But no, 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 yeah. it's not spiel. Spiel's a bad word. Marketing's a bad word. Yeah, not front end development, we, but the, the, the what faces the user, user facing the content. Yeah. Yeah. So, you, yeah, so you, it's better to say that you guys are really based around making sure that people enjoy using your product. Yeah, yeah and we like to, you know, we've always wanted to have a bit more of a personality than our competitors. We've always tried to be a bit different. We've always tried to see the funny side of things or be a little bit cheeky with our marketing or with our sort of like our, our message and so all of our marketing and, and the website especially sort of really leaked from that. So how did it start? Who started it? Who was... So um, the company was started by Dwayne who's our CEO and he was working as a freelance developer at the time and he was finding it really hard to find anything that would be able to make it easy for him to invoice and keep track of all his finances um, for his freelance business. So being a developer instead of actually just... <laughs> putting up with something he decided to build something instead because that was the easiest option to build something um, so he did that and that's where the company grew from basically that's the age we live in how did you guys get involved? Um, Stu's been with the company like over a year now yep. um, I was um, I came into the company in August last year yeah so I was headhunted um, at an event I was running, <laughs> and um, and then Ben was picked up on Twitter. Yeah, oh, really? <laughs> much, yeah. Uh, yeah, my Twitter bio was copied into the job description, so I couldn't ignore that afterwards. So, so was, did did you intend like when you were developing? Like, you, I'm assuming you all develop your online presence quite. Uh, yeah, yeah well, heavily. Yeah, yeah, because well, yeah. that's the world we live in, isn't it? Like, it, yeah. we live in this age. Do you guys have any advice for people who are just like people like me who are just starting, just about to graduate? Like. What would you say in terms of online development and things like that? Like this whole uh, like your Facebook. Be careful page. about what you put out there. Yeah. Try not to put too many drunken things on there. <laughs> um, there's the age-old thing of saying on your Twitter profile that your opinions are your own and not your employer, and it really it really depends who your employer is. I mean, like Dwayne's a really heavy Twitter user, our CEO. Um, and all of the staff in the company are really heavy Twitter users. I think we talk more on Twitter than we do in the office half <laughs> the time. Um, so that's not really a priority for us to, e- to even have to state apart that our opinions are separate. But you do have to be careful with some yeah. companies, yeah. what you put out there. So it's not censoring, but it's just being sort of you know aware of the fact that everything is, is searchable now. Yeah. And everything can be found. Your history will. Yeah, <laughs> so just be a little bit careful about what you put on there. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. And so, how what do you guys think Startup Drinks? Like, what made you all get? Well, what have you all taken from this event? Like, what 
you. Let's go around. I think I've probably taken that it's interesting that as you hear on the news and stuff about there's a lot of young people wanting to start businesses and stuff, and I think that's kind of quite a recent thing. Like, I only finished uni three or four years ago, but I think back then people were more concerned with getting drunk and getting this stuff done at the last minute than they were with kind of doing stuff above and beyond their degree. And I think now, I think especially with, you know, fees increasing and stuff, people are more concerned with trying to do something worthwhile and trying to have something to come out of uni and step into rather than having to think, oh, I've got to have a desperate scrabble to try and find something. I think that's kind of something I've seen tonight with a lot of people. Yeah, like, definitely. With the way that, like, I know from me personally, with the way the economy's going, it's like, you just don't, you don't have faith that there's anyone hiring and you keep hearing all the statistics. And what about, what do you, what do you I mean, like, on the development side, yeah. I mean, you must find that, obviously, a project can't be done on your own, so, like, how do you find that the whole networking side and working with people comes into that? Like? Um, I think because information's, uh, information's a bit more open nowadays, and people seem to help each other out, so if you can just connect with people online, yeah. build little silly projects, even yeah. if it's, you know, a feed of cat pictures from Instagram, then, you know, it's a, it's do a, that. It's a little project, isn't it? So it's something that proves yeah. you can do what you can do, but it's something that also brings yeah. value to I mean, I'm like kind of not one for judging people on, like, uh, qualifications and kind of written uh, paper stuff, it's like, well, what have you gone out and done, and, yeah. you know, all stuff like that. Yeah. That's really good. That's really yeah. good. Um, for me, it's just meeting loads of different people and, and meeting our customers. So a few of them have been along tonight. It's really great to sort of hear their feedback on the product face to face as well. But it's also really good. I've, I get a lot out of connecting people. So I've, I've spoken to a lot of people tonight that work in similar industries and people that I know already. And so I'm always trying to say, well, I know someone I can really connect you with. So I'll, I'll do that intro for you if you email me. So I, I get a lot out of doing that at networking events. Yeah. Um, any more the things you want to talk about? I think pretty much. I think we're, I think we're done. I think we're done. I think we're done. Well, cash flow. Well, yeah. <laughs> you can follow us on Twitter at cash flow. You can. You can. Yeah, you can do that. Cool. Yeah. Well, and uh, it's with a K as well. Cash flow with a K. Cash flow with, with a K. <laughs> Westside. Yes. <Yeah>. West <laughs> England. <Yeah. laughs> oh. Oh, thanks, guys. That was really, really good. And that was a lot less terrifying than I imagined it would be. Good stuff. Oh, brilliant. And um, we'll get that to you so you can all laugh on. we got to do it again now. Mate. Yeah, we're structured. No, it was all a lie. It was all a lie. <laughs> See, no pressure. I got loved. Yeah. That's okay. Now we'll get you back down. We did gang signs, didn't we? Media tricks. You did gang signs. I sat here and looked scathingly at you. There is there is a rapper out there called Cashflow, but because we got we got we got the URL first, so he has to be at the real Cashflow. No, we do. We get all of his Twitter responses and people talking about how they've got like cash flow in at the end of the month, and we're like, what the hell is going on? It's this stupid rapper. I saw your monthly returns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone from the at the at Bronx Boys like yo for real good to see my homie cash flow tonight I literally tweeted back yeah safe bro always good seeing you respect and he was like keep it real bro I was like, how have you not realised that we're not who you think we are the, the million dollar question is does, does cash flow use cash flow I mean do you, do you, have you guys sold him on that yet no, he, could be a, he could be a poster right, I think he, okay, keep, I think he keeps his cash really under his mattress right now. out of all of our competitors we are one of the very few that actually used our own accounts as well so we've heard. So we've heard. Keep that away from being we've liable. We've heard when there. people yeah. have been a bit. <laughs> right? No, it's here. Yeah. not liable. We've, we've heard when people have had a little bit too much to drink at trade shows that they don't use their own accountancy <laughs> software. Well, there you go. Um, this is the real end then. Heard it here first. Cash flow is awesome. <laughs> Westside.